Welcome back, motorheads. This is What Do You Have Car Finds on Facebook Marketplace. A first level 1968 checker for $3,500. Well, on this edition of Meth Head Busters, let's see exactly what we got going on here. We obviously have somebody who never understood the meaning of you can go a little too far when you're doing something. However, there's some cool things about this, but some of these things here are just why. I can appreciate you thinking outside the box, but in this case, I think I wish they would have stayed in the box. Up next, got a little 2021 Dodge for $20,000. I can't be the only one that hears when you see this truck. If Maynard had a rich cousin that grew up in the city named Bubba, this would be Bubba. And I'm not saying I don't like it, it's just ugly. Kind of like my ex-wife. Speaking of exes, here's her much older, uglier sister for $6,500. And just like my ex's sister, she was ugly coming and going too. There wasn't a good side about that woman or this car. Trying to figure out what's going on here is kind of like buying a jigsaw puzzle from the thrift store that's missing a bunch of pieces. Uh, next goal, 1969 Volkswagen for $12,900. What in the hillbilly redneck doom buggy is going on here? I do not dislike this. It's interesting. It's uh, something I've never seen before. And I, but I have the what the F was you thinking when you build it other than because you can. Is this a kit? I've never seen If this is a kit, I've never seen it before. If anyone out there knows if this is a kit, leave it in the comments. Uh, next school, 2005 Lincoln for $30,000. What in the absolute F is going on here? Why would you do this? What was... I... You, this hurts my head. This is what happens when you order a chariot from Wish.com. Up uh, next, a little 1954 Chevrolet for $6,000. <sighs> ah, you can just smell the natty light from here. And you just know you're going to find a Joe Dirt wig and a copy of Auto Trader sitting in the front seat. I can just see the king of the trailer park rolled up, his two little Joe Dirt mini-me's jumping out of the back with their little white beaters on. It says redneck in training. Up uh, next, a 1974 Buick for $5,800. This is the Crackhead Captain America edition. Let's just be honest here. I really can't concentrate on the car with all that garbage in the yard right there. Now I know why he needs 5800 bucks. He's got to pay the county or the city for cleaning up his mess. Uh, next, a little 1988 Mercury Sable Wagon for $9,500. What in the Clark W. Griswold is going on here? The only thing I can see is Cousin Eddie hollering, She's a beaut, Clark. She's a beaut. Even though this is not my thing, I still think they did a pretty good job on here when you think about the Thunderbird conversions. They really screwed those damn things up. This one here actually doesn't look too terrible. It's just a little out there. Uh, next, a little 1988 Suzuki Samurai for $12,000. Well, it looks like we got the zombie apocalypse little Suzuki here. Alaska edition. This is definitely a first. I have never seen a Suzuki on tracks. I think this thing might be mildly interesting and fun to play with. What do you guys think? Uh, next, guy, a little 1940 what started out as a Ford for $15,000. Well, somebody was definitely a fan of Speed Racer growing up. You know, I don't hate this. I think this might be something that, even though it's a WTF for certain, that is definitely a WTF kind of vehicle. It's kind of cool looking. I think uh, they kind of executed uh, something very different that you're not going to see every day. And they did it kind of nicely. Uh, next little 1979 Chevrolet for twelve five. What in the redneck land yacht club do we got going on here? What we got going on here is one of the craziest pickups I have ever seen. I don't dislike this. I don't like the price of what he's got going on. This thing's going to need some work. But this is definitely something you're probably not going to see again anytime soon. Could you imagine trying to park that damn thing at Walmart? Uh, next, 2008 Ford F-650 for $125,000. This one here definitely screams, I won the lotto, have lots of money, I have a small weenie, and I'm compensating. Why would you have a pickup like this? I don't understand the purpose of this truck. Why? It, this is definitely a what the F vehicle for certain. Why? Just why? What's the purpose? Uh, Mexico, 1975 overpriced Triumph for $25,000. What the F are you thinking here? Did you just go out of your way to find the ugliest Triumph you could find? Throw a little bit of money at it, put some big wheels on it and think it's worth $25,000. This is the ugliest Triumph ever. Uh, Mexico, 1988 Jeep Wrangler for $10,000. Where in the app did you come up with the value of this thing here? $10,000. And this guy says he's firm on that $10,000. What about this? Anything you have going on here is $10,000. There must be some sort of book that's floating around out there that I haven't seen that's, that's helping you guys come up with these stupid prices. Uh, next goal, 1989 Chevrolet Caprice for 17 dollars 
This is definitely a WTF. This ain't here has got a lot of things going on. It's got some Dodge Viper vibes to it. It's got some Chevy Love kind of vibe to it from the side. It's just all over the place. Uh, next will 1990 Pontiac Grand Prix for $35,000. This one here is going to be the WTF award winner of the day and not in a bad way. This thing here is pretty dang cool. I really like what they've done. I like seeing when they take an old, what was a front wheel drive car, put it on a chassis, make it rear wheel drive, make a drag car out of it. I think this one right here, if it's turnkey for that price and you're wanting to go race and you want to have something a little different, this might be right up your alley. Hope you guys liked today's list. If you did, leave it in the comments. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.